Top 10 craziest Walmart photos. Here we go. Number 10. I don't know if that's a towel or a dress or whatever it is, but she's too old for it. And young folks, well, they're definitely not wearing it. Gatorade wants no part in this. Back to school, number 9. Ooh, knives. Yeah, I don't think that's something you want to take to school. Especially at this school, and that school's most schools. Number 8. You Really? You put your kid in the cart and on the bottom behind all the junk food? Oh, that's a good parenting. Number seven, just a normal day at Walmart, and that's some serious depression. I guess Walmart has a toll on that kid. Number six, yeah, that plastic bag's okay on your kid's head. You're obviously the ideal mom, and you know what's best. I mean, you know, you put a lot of healthy food in a cart. You obviously care about your kid's health and safety. And look at these people. You can tell they've seen some shit at Walmart. The one woman's like, eh, but I'm not going to do anything. The guy's not even looking. Delicious for Hanukkah, boneless smoke ham. Yeah, Jews don't eat ham. Especially on Hanukkah, it doesn't work like that. Fisting, in case you don't know, it, it's sexual. Look it up on Urban Dictionary. And just to make this better, this shirt isn't a children's size. So, you can get your children bringing a knife to school with their sexual shirt. Speaking of shirts, this looks normal, but Pops, that's all he has on. For some reason, Pops is not wearing pants at the Walmart. And I don't think that shirt counts as a dress. Warning! This next one is kind of disgusting. If you don't like seeing poop, please click off. Well, if you didn't click off... Oh, shit. That's beyond disgusting. Number one. Yeah, that dad makes the plastic mom look good. He makes the no-pants guy look good. He makes everybody combined on this list look like ideal parents. Dyfus just shit themselves.